Now here's a fun story. Entertainment Weekly named Casey Musgrave's Golden Hour the best album of the year. NME said that honor went to a brief inquiry into online relationships by the 1975, and Rolling Stone chose Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy. But with his picks, we're joined by New York City radio host Mike Adam. Mike, 2018's almost over, so looking back, what were your top album picks? Well, so pop music is obviously my lane, so I'm going to stick to that. Let's start things off with A Star is Born. I love the soundtrack. Uh, who knew Bradley Cooper had that voice? And there's 19 songs on there, and not one of them is a skip over song. I love that album. I love Sweetener by Ariana Grande. This is music therapy at its finest. She channeled in all the emotion she was feeling from the Manchester bombing, her highly publicized love life, put it into an album, and was brave enough to share it with fans. And then uh, let's do Dirty Computer from Janelle Monet. Just a flawless album. She's like cut from the same cloth as uh, Lauren Hill. She could sing as good as she raps. That's just the way you make me feel. That's just the way you make me feel. That's just the way you make me feel. Oh my gosh, I love her. That's quite a group. What about the best songs? Songs. I really love Electricity from Silk City and Dua Lipa. When you have a song produced by Mark Ronson and Diplo, you pretty much know it's going to be a hit, and Dua sounds so good on the song. And I think the video really takes it to a new level as well between Dua Lipa's dancing and the plot of the music video. So good. I love Chun Lee by Nicki Minaj. The beat alone reminds me of like the New York City hip hop I grew up on, and she just has so many quotable lines on there too many to mention and then uh lastly let's do david Guetta and Anne marie don't leave me alone just a perfect pop song and i think she's really one of the the artists that you should watch when it comes to the newish female pop singers mike great picks thank you so much